What's up people, welcome to my YouTube channel, this is Sanjay. Today I'm gonna show you a badminton shoe and these are professional grade badminton shoes which I'm gonna show it to you right now, used by badminton players when they play this badminton game professionally. So the ones inside these box are of ASICS, Code Control FF3, Code Control is the most durable series of ASICS. The one which I'm using right now is ASICS as well, Code Control FF2 series these ones and these ones are 15 months old and time to change it. Why I'm saying so? You can see that wear and tear here. Little wear and tear, nothing much. They have really really hold up very very nicely. Um, I'm gonna show you time to give up because the grip is gone from here. Once this grip is gone on the shoe, you must not risk and an injury can happen any moment so it's better to change the shoes you know you in here as well the grip is gone so it's a little slippery but they are still hold up very nicely and i've been playing on professional badminton court in my club i have not utilized in a society court which is made up of stone or even in grass i have not played up anywhere outside just used it on a proper badminton court and i have played on these shoes more than 1000 games probably 700 to 800 complete double games of 21 points from medium to high intensity and also played single games of badminton for at least say 300 to 400 games singles also i played of complete 21 points medium to high or even higher intensity on singles so these have hold it up very nicely now i'm going to show you the new ones let's start code control ff3 there are a lot of different brands available in the market like Bionex, Babolat, Leaning but right now I'm preferring ASICS after using Code Control I really enjoyed it I think the movement is far much better, swifter what I really like is the control and the grip I do not feel like I'm going to get injured playing on ASICS swift movements and durability is also excellent But still, my other badminton gear, my rackets are generally of your next made in Japan ones, the Pro ones, S Rock series. If you want to check them out, you can check it on my channel as well. So, this is the box art. Um, nothing fancy, kind of a broken box I received. Maybe used for trials, I guess. Um, Code Control FF3. Color is black lime burst. US 11, UK 10 is the size. And this is the color. So I got it at a bargain price when it was launched probably a year ago. The price for the shoe was 11,000 rupees. I got it at 6,300 odd rupees from HU. That's the only reason I got it. Well, it looks in good condition not used for trials just the box was in a bad condition but the shoe is in an excellent condition so this is the color I opted for there are other colors as well you can select but I like this one um, so this is where I had a wear and tear on my old shoe and here you can see it's all intact looks pretty much better I guess. This color looks dope. Wow. Okie dokie. So these are the new ones. These are the old ones. I'm gonna hopefully all are in the frame. This is blue and yellow. FF2. Design wise, the mesh is still kind of aggressive look in the previous one and in the new ones It's Little toned down. I I think the Previous model is far more aggressive compared to this year's mesh design This looks far more aggressive the blue ones and the new ones are 
pretty much having a symmetrical pattern which goes from left to right side of the shoe but the color is this one is very attractive this fluorescent green on black looks absolutely dope it looks wild and the sport control ff3 is mentioned here this is the back side of the shoe the sole looks fabulous look at the colors that used white light blue fluorescent kind of light green and this yellow marvelous very good looking okay the price as i said when it was launched was eleven thousand um november 2023 is the manufacturing date and um, it's made in vietnam country of origin is vietnam the previous one was also from vietnam if you want to see the video of unboxing of ff2 you can see it on my channel the links will be in the description um what else yeah black lime burst is the color i got it at a dope price man this is 6300 rupees from ajio doing this sale great price i generally do inform my subscribers about if there is discount going on and you want to grab any gear you can check my instagram i do upload videos for price discounts available on various online platforms so you can grab it at great prices and this is green in here this is to like power cushion technology of Yonex this is ASICS gel system famous ASICS gel system in here nice in here it is also see the gel system in FF2 and here it's not mentioned FF2 but this one is FF2 so this is the way it looks from the back side more aggressively designed and toned down I think the design wise this is better still like it color wise this is so so good and you can see everything is intact in here I'm gonna I'm gonna pluck out the sole and let's see the condition of the sole after using it for 15 months this is the condition of the sole so in here a lot of toe effort while you play badminton a lot of effort is going on and ankle are in constant touch when you jump smash and everything ankles do give a shoe a beating and shoe must be able to get take that beating um i'll advise to every player who is even starting go with professional grade shoes because if you are starting with cheap shoes of 2000 3000 rupees you're gonna injure your knees and ankle badly and probably your back as well so i'll highly advise every new player who is serious and plays club level badminton at least should go with professional grade badminton shoes which are at least priced at 5000 and more don't go with the cheap ones okay the lace the lace material is exactly the same the laces are exactly the same The branding is here, ASICS branding is here, ASICS branding is here. Here there was ASICS as well but it's gone now. After play. Let me pluck out the inner sole and show it to you. Ah, new ones. And identical to the previous ones, not much of a difference. The material is the same, quality is the same, 
quality still remains the same. That's great. So this is the way they look. I'm going to wear them now and give you the conclusion about my feel, the comfort, the traction control and everything is going to be in the final chapter of this review for this Code Control FF3. So, so let's begin with the conclusion. The first point which I'm going to cover is the looks of the shoe. As you all know, I really like it. They are very, very good looking shoes and this color is particularly looking very, very sexy in my opinion. Black and green for a badminton shoe. I'm gonna rate it 10 out of 10 for looks and now so far as control goes these shoes are meant to give you solid control on coat they are known as coat control series the ones which I used before coat control FF2 they gave me really really good control and if you want to take your game to a next level then go with this what I'm trying to say that if I'm trying to march ahead the grip is really holding me back they're gonna give you solid control and fast movements Brisk movements, you want to lift your feet, control lift, very good. Control wise, there is definitely no two doubts about it, they are 10 out of 10. Comfort wise, they really feel good on my feet. I'm having normal feet, These are not, uh, my feet are not at all wide. So for a normal feet, not thin as well, fitting is excellent, 10 out of 10. Brilliant. So far as traction goes, Pretty good traction control on your knees and on your backbone. Um, not the best in the world. Yonex Eclipson probably is the best I've ever played on with. Uh, but these ones are brilliant as well. Traction wise, certainly 9 out of 10. Got further queries, you can ask me in the comment section below. And um, you want to check out my gear, my rackets, my bag and shuttles which I use. You can check it in the videos that I made on YouTube. Links are given in the description. Now please do share and subscribe my video, it helps to grow my channel and also helps your friends who play badminton to know about badminton in detail. Now I gotta take a leave, have a good day, bye bye.